Bill and Fenn, based on the Railway series by Reverend W. Audley. This is a story about Bill and Ben, the twin engines. They worked at the quarry and they found it very boring. Then one day something happened that made them realise the quarry was quite an exciting place after all. Ben and Ben worked at the quarry. The twin engines loved excitement and they often found the quarry boring. One morning they were busy moving trucks. Listen Bill, said Ben, can you hear something? What sort of something? asked Bill. Something different, replied Ben. I can't hear anything, said Bill. Exactly, huffed Ben. Everything is the same. Sounds the same, looks the same. What we need is a surprise, said Bill. What sort of surprise, asked Ben. But before Bill could answer, the quarry master arrived. I have just received a message from the fat controller, he said. He wants you to go and see him at the harbour. I wonder what we've done wrong this time, said Bill and Ben anxiously. At the harbour, the fat controller was waiting for them. Edward is taking the children on a special trip today, he said. So I want you to go to the harbour station and look after his trucks. We'll do our best, sir, said the twins. And they wished away, relieved that they hadn't done anything wrong after all. When Bill and Ben arrived at the station, Gordon spoke to them severely. You must behave here, he said. You're on the main line, not the quarry. Actually, Gordon, giggled Ben, we saw you. We thought you were in a scrapyard. <laughs> Gordon was so cross he couldn't think what to say. Just make sure my coaches are ready for me this evening, he spluttered as he fumed away. The twins set to work. This would be easy, they said to each other. We know all about trucks, but they weren't used to harbour trucks, and the trucks knew it. We'll show you around, the trucks said to Bill and Ben. We want to help you. Bill and Ben should have known better than to believe them. The trucks told Bill and Ben to put things in the wrong places. Soon the yard was in a dreadful muddle. When Gordon saw what happened, he was furious. You've blocked me in, he said to Bill and Ben. Now my evening train will be late. The troublesome trucks giggled. <laughs> when the fat controller found out what happened, he spoke severely to Bill and Ben. I thought I could trust you to work with trucks, he said, but I was wrong. Now go and sort out this mess. Gordon waited impatiently while Bill and Ben put everything back in its proper place. By the time Gordon was able to leave, it was very late indeed. His passengers were furious. Bill and Ben were sent back to the quarry in disgrace. As they began to work the next day, Ben sighed loudly. <sighs> back at the boring old quarry, he said, and still no su sign of surprise. Just then there was a loud rumbling. That's a strange noise, gasped Ben. I've never heard a noise like that before. I have, whispered the, his driver nervously. Sounds like a rock slide to me. <laughs> then the alarm went. Danger! Clear the quarry! shouted the quarry master. Workmen scrambled into Bill and Ben's trap and the twins pulled them away. Rocks were beginning to tumble down into the quarry. Thank goodness you're here, said the twins. Otherwise, all these people could have been hurt. They were puffing out of the quarry when they heard the cry. A workman had been left behind. Help! Help! Wait for me, he cried. Ben waited as the man scrambled over the fallen rocks to reach the train. He climbed aboard and the twins pulled, up, pulled out of the quarry. Just in time. With a huge crash, hundreds of rocks poured down the side of the quarry. Everyone was safely out of the way, but there was a rumble everywhere. At the moment, Edward arrived with the fat controller. Oh dear, said Bill. This wasn't our fault. This wasn't our fault. I hope the fat controller won't be cross with us again. But he wasn't. Bill and Ben, the fat controller said, you may have a lot to learn about trucks, but you have behaved quickly and bravely in an emergency. 
So three cheers for Bill and Ben, our heroes. Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Hip hip, hooray! Cried Edward, and all the workmen joined in. Oh, thank you, sir, said Bill. Being called hero, heroes, well, it, it, it's, it, it's, it's a real nice surprise, laughed Ben. <laughs> ben.